a type of kinetic performance became famous all over the world since long time. Most of the dancers, they love to perform it due to a lot of reasons. It is known in the world under an Egyptian term, shabby dance. In this video, I will explain to you the story, when it's begun and what is behind it. Also, the global mistake of using this term. There are a little difference between the Egyptian tongue and the Arabic language. In the Egyptian tongue, when we say Shabi, Shabi it means local, but in Arabic means nation means my people means popular. Both languages or both the Egyptian tongue and uh, Arabic language, when we say Shabi dance, it means exactly local dance too. But local dance in Egyptian tongue, it is lower than Shabi dance. Shabi dance in Arabic means folk dance or fol uh, folklore dance, but in Egyptian tongue it means local. And if I say al rax al shabi, which it means in, in Egyptian, Egyptian, uh, in Egyptian um, uh, folklore dance, but in Arabic it is also means folklore dance. If I say shabi without al in the beginning of the word. Shabi, just only Shabi in the beginning of the word, it means local in Egyptian and uh, popular in Arabic. This is the little difference between both. Since 20 years we tried, me and my wife, to change this sentence or this uh, uh, term in the world. Instead of Shabi, we have to, Shabi dance, I mean, we have to say a street Shabi dance, which is better and more closer to the meaning of the of this type of, of dance. Uh, and I'm so happy that uh, many dancers and choreographers in the world now, they started already to use a street shabby dance instead of shabby dance. 2011, I started monitoring this type of phenomenon in the Egyptian society. And I, 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 I reached it or I found a lot of uh, information about it. Of course, I will share all of these with you and uh, we will see together what I found, but some because it's too much information about them. So, welcome! In the beginning of the 70s of the last century, clearly appeared a broad sector in the Egyptian society, with their customs and traditions. Later this sector influenced and later changed the surface lifestyle in Egypt. This sector was the artisan sector. They were able to change some of the they use words the Egyptian using through their street lifestyle talking also lead to change many methods of the dealings and talking dialogues between the Egyptians. As a result ended with the change in the new Egyptian vernacular poetry, which lead to change in the styles of Egyptian music and performance of the syllable. All these points influenced the emergence of most of the singers who used these new musical notes and many of the words of this sector in their songs. But the beginning was much earlier. In the 19th century, music composition for the high class in Egypt was a mixture of the Turkish and Persian manner even singing style as well. Other side, the folk music and songs were played by gypsy tribes and Gawazi families until Sayyid Darwish appeared. He traveled to many countries such as Levant area 
and some other countries nearby. Also travels to Greece, but didn't stay longer over there. And some people said that he travels to Italy too. He collected many music ideas in this time long ago and started using them in his way of composing. Later he changed the way of the Arab music from the old Turkish and Persian composing and opened the gate of the Arabian music to the Tarab of what we know now. Sayyid Darwish sang by many languages and different tongues in his songs. A lot of his music, composition and songs are still alive and in use today. Then appeared Abdelaziz Mahmoud, who I chose him because he had a wonderful folk songs and also for something very special and funny, which is he sang for women's sliver. <laughs> Then appeared Karim Mahmoud. Also, Karim Mahmoud had a great folk songs too. In the 70s of the last century, Ahmad Adawiya appeared in his own way in songs that changed the way the Egyptian heard the music. Then Hassan Al Asmar, another singer, who was walking on the same way of Adawiya, but with his flavor voice. Later, a large number of singers appeared after Adawiya on the surface of popular songs in Egypt. Some particularly females, such as Fatma Aid, became more famous than before after Egyptians began searching for folklore for music and songs. Now we reach the street chabi performance. <laughs> Their dance steps are a mixture between the Egyptian folk dance, belly dance and a bit of Arab folk dance. Also the pattern basic in their dance always be an individual and each performer uses or acting looks like using his craft tool in his dance performance. When you look at the performers in their parties, you will recognize that every one of them dancing in a manner different than the other. Also from the step of each one, you can recognize his type of crafts. These essential tools in their dance are the knife or sword or stick. These tools related to the artisan's community by force and security. Also 90% of the performance perform and act in a place, which it means that they don't move everywhere on a stage or in the place where they perform their performance. Also there is no special costumes for their, this type of performance. So I prefer to say street shabby performance instead of a street shabby dance. <laughs> 